School security personnel can be the first line of defense in case of severe weather, neighborhood traffic, and school-specific hazards. When school's in session, one-eighth of the population of Fairfax County is under our roof in our education buildings, and we want to provide the most safe, sound, and secure environment for our kids to get the best education that we can provide. These are the facts. Fairfax County Public Schools is the 11th largest school system in the country, with over 181,000 students, 23,000 employees, and over 190 facilities. Well, I think we have a, have a very good track record in terms of safety and security in, in Fairfax County Public Schools, and that doesn't come by accident. We do a lot of training, both for the school security officers here out of my office and those that work in the schools, for school staffs in terms of tabletop exercises for emergency management. Uh, we put the camera here out of the pain that's, that's far right corner down this hallway. We have a support group that, that facilitates uh, the implementation and the maintenance and training for video surveillance, door access systems. Fred Ellis, who has testified before Congress and currently serves on the Governor's Task Force on School Security and Safety, believes training and a school-centered emergency management program is critical to ensure a safe learning environment. That's why the department combines low-tech patrols with high-tech communications. 24-7, the command center keeps an electronic eye on countywide school entrances, door access, and all safety alarms. The center also fields emails, calls, and a confidential tip line. It's, it's anonymous, so if you have somebody who feels threatened about, about something or gets wind of something that's not right, they can call in and not, not be at risk of being identified or you know, singled out. School security involves all the elements. Our office, principal, the students. What time are your parents supposed to be here? 15 minutes. 15? Okay, if you need anything, let me know. Right, Thanks. So we've got a lot of people monitoring things at school, and so we normally find out about them pretty quick. Our calls from service traditionally are several times a day multiple calls for all sorts of gamuts for can you tell us who to contact for sidewalk repairs to all the way that we have a suspicious person or a car on the lot would you please come to assist us we work as a team here we have to support the kids and other staff members who are in the building if there's something going on um, the kids come first if kids need special attention as far as assistance getting throughout the building for whatever safety reasons we we are here to help that even though bad things can happen on school grounds, school security is just one component to support a safe place to learn and grow. But it's not just our job, it's a job of the community. If you're not sure about what your school safety and security procedures are, ask your principal, ask your teacher, ask to see the classroom. Good morning, Ian. Good morning, Chloe. The schools are statistically the safest place for kids to be. It's unequivocal from any study ever done. Schools are just really safe places for kids to be and that has not changed. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, school-based security specialists train and prepare to keep schools safe by walking the beat, building student-teacher relationships, and securing access to school buildings. And I hope that I have made a difference in doing what I have done for the school systems and for the citizens of Fairfax.